He's back again. The, f the Donkey Kong song from Donkey Kong Country 64. Whatever. Fucking. Yeah. Mic check. Woo. Daggerfall. And here we are in Wayrest, ladies and gentlemen. Looks an awful lot like Daggerfall, to be perfectly honest, but don't worry, as the game goes on, we'll start to see more diversity in the uh, cities that we go to. I know for a fact that at some point we go to the Alakir Desert, and things start to look uh, quite different. Alright, so we've been summoned to the castle, and I- whoop, that's the wrong button. And I don't see any reason why we shouldn't go directly there. I think it's in, like, the middle of town. Alright, if I'm being perfectly honest, it probably would have been a good idea to fucking look this up first. Alright, so there's the castle. I really like how uh, the devs really took the time out to think about the small details in this, like this this huge path leading up to the temp to the uh, castle with like benches and everything. You know, this looks really cool. For some reason, the city of Daggerfall doesn't have this. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe the royal family of Daggerfall isn't quite as rich as the royal family of Wayrest, or maybe they're just more humble. I don't know. And check this out, huh? A little garden of sunflowers? Isn't that cool? I like it, anyway. Okay, so the path doesn't actually lead directly to the castle. In fact, it leads straight past it. I have no idea why. So even though it's a nice touch, the devs did kind of fuck... Why? Wait, why is there a lantern in there? Why would there be a lantern here? The fuck? Okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's just not worry about that. Oh, look, they've got another little garden down here. There's the little touches that make it in these games. Oh, a cart, too. You know. For a game that's so primitive, there is a surprising amount of detail here. There's a hedge maze?! How long has there been a hedge maze here? I didn't even know that! <gasps> that's so cool! Oh my god! Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna have a nerdgasm on stream, okay. And this is Castle Wayrest. Not bad for primitive 1997 technology, huh? I mean, sure, it's not the most impressive thing that came out in 1997, but considering how primitive a lot of the Daggerfall uh, 3D engine features are, this is pretty impressive in my opinion. Alright, here we are. So now there are a bunch of, uh... Yeah, there are a bunch of NPCs that we can talk to here. There's also these, like, um... These are obviously, like, the same class of, like, warriors. This is a battle mage, for example, that we would have seen in a dungeon. Why the hell is her head poking out of her hood there? Does she have cat ears? Huh. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to worry about them. They're just guarding shit, and you, they'll only attack if they if you provoke them. Although you might have heard when I walked in, uh, a door opened, because uh, they still instinctively open doors to try to get to you, even though they're scripted to not move. Alright, so... Uh, this is the queen. I think this is the king, or maybe he's an advisor. Although it's interesting that he's a different race than them. But yeah, uh, this is the princess that we want to talk to. Yeah, the, the funny story actually, in Vanilla Daggerfall, she actually has uh, just like, you know, white skin, like uh, human colored white skin. Uh, which is weird because like, she still has the glowing red eyes, because she's supposed to be a dark elf. But I guess it was just an oversight that they gave her the wrong skin color. Also, cute cat. <clears throat> You're trying to track down that letter that of the Emperor's, yes? There are very few scandals in the Bay of which I am totally ignorant. I could give you some information, but nothing is without a price, that I know well. I need a champion who does not fear the fire of oblivion. Are you interested? Of course. I'm a knight, I'm badass. Ain't no Daedra gonna keep me down. Frostfire, that is a relief to me. Do not ask any questions. Get this letter to a certain high-level sorcerer at the Necromancer's crypt. Okay, Daedra don't scare me, but undead scare the shit out of me. This is gonna go really bad. Uh, Scourge, Skir Skurg Barrow in the Dragon Tail Mountains. Avoid the rift. If you see it, you have gone too far. They will not be expecting you, and will not wait for any introductions. The necromancers feel that death is a reward for the living, not a punishment. Once you have delivered the letter, they would feel no need to guarantee your safety. It is their way. 
I need the letter delivered and a response from the King of Worms in my hand one month from now, at the absolute latest. The risks are very high, Rodney. Please do not fail. Alright. We have our quest. And this is going to involve another dungeon crawl, but don't worry, I actually have a walkthrough pulled up. Uh, because it's actually quite easy to get lost in these dungeons. So, we're going to do this properly. Okay, so we're going to open up our world map, and we're going to go to the Dragon Tail Mountains. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the Dragon Tail Mountains region is actually so large that you have to, like, scroll to see all of it. Which is, um... kind of ridiculous. Like, it, it, like okay, so... Uh, we, we were, like, here when I started, right? If we search for Skurg... Uh, and you actually don't have to type in the full name, but you do have to type in enough that it won't be ambiguous which one you mean. But Skurg Barrow is, like, way out here. In fact, where is it? It's, uh... Skurg... Skurg... It's, it's way out here. <laughs> I think it's, uh, for some reason it made me chuckle that it's like it's like right here, and it just looks like any of the other dungeons surrounding it, even though it's like super important to the story. Alright, so the travel time is listed as 21. But obviously we're going to want to go as fast as possible. Uh, now, I, I, I have done this dungeon crawl before. It shouldn't take too, too long. Uh, but, you know, with, uh, with combat and everything involved here... It could take a while. Alright. So this is the big imposing Skurg Barrow. We're gonna be coming back here a couple of times. Now, confusingly, the door is not in, like, the front where you're gonna show up. It's, like, to the left. I have no idea why. Alright, so let's do our quick backup save. Weapons at the ready. You're gonna want to get a good decent weapon. I'm using Dwarf in here because you got some zombies in there, and zombies do not fuck around. Trust me. Alright. Why am I facing the door? Alright, so immediately, this looks completely different from, like, all the other dungeons that we've seen so far, right? Like, it, the, the, you got, like, all these really awesome coffins and shit, and you can even open them up and, like, take a peek inside. Alright, so this is pretty cool. So, uh, directly in front, of course, uh, this big, important-looking coffin, right? You open this up, and you can see it, there's a hole down there that leads down to the rest of the dungeon. Uh, you don't want to go down there. That's a trap. I've checked. It's 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 a trap uh, because it it just leads down to a room that has nothing to do with anything with a bunch of monsters, and I think there's a pit even that um, if you go down there, like there's no escape. Uh, instead, you want to open up this one. Uh, see, you're they're really sneaky. There's another hole at the bottom of this one, and now. The only problem is that actually getting into the coffin is a bit of a pain. Like, um, I actually wonder if you can climb the lip. I've never tried climbing it before. Hang on. Come on. If I center myself properly, this might work. Don't think so. No. Alright, so we're gonna have to jump. Uh, there we go, and... Oh, now we're going into climbing mode. What the fuck? Ow. Ow. My shins. Alright. So. Of course it starts lagging now. Alright, let me actually just bust out my walkthrough real quick, because otherwise I'm gonna get lost. So, down this way. Uh, yes. So. There's only one way down this hallway, and it's this way, so this is the way that we're gonna go. Our zombies. Here we go. Oh, and of course, zombies can like confer some horrifying diseases. Holy sh! Yeah. Did you see how hard he just hit me? This is this is gonna be a problem. This, this is a problem. Oh shit! Actually, what am I doing? I have a potion of orc strength. Yeah. Fuck it. Eat shit and die, zombies. I mean, eat shit and die again. Never mind. Come on! Die! Die! Come on! Get fucked! Eat ass! Oh fuck, that's a... Oh no! Damn it! Okay. 
Don't worry, we will persevere. We will push on. This is a completely doable fight, I promise. Although if you're playing a non-combat character, or like a character that doesn't have any offensive spells or something like that, uh, this could be a serious problem. I'm just saying. Alright, uh, so they actually didn't notice us the first time we went down there, so I'm actually going to equip my longbow, and of course the lag is gone. I'm, I'm just going to stop trying to make any sense of this. Ah, oh, fuck nuggets! See, of course it would be that, like, the one time that I have my bow out, they're going to be right there. That's just my luck, right? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. So this is the problem, actually, with, with the way the barrel is designed, is that the steps are just slightly too tall for us to... Wait a minute, we can exploit this! What am I doing? Yeah, because the steps are actually slightly too tall to actually walk up, the, zo the zombies aren't going to be able to walk up it either, so we could just... So I could just cheese this with my bow! Why didn't I think of this before? Please tell me I can actually hit them with elven weapons. Are you serious? Why am I not getting any, ind any indication that I'm hitting him? Come on, man! Hold on, I gotta look this up now. Animals, humanoids... Fucking orcs... Atronox... Undead. Okay, so... Uh, zombies... Zombies can be hit by weapons of any material. Okay, so why isn't my bow working right now? Am I, hit am I running into some sort of bizarre collision detection error? Alright, fuck it, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way then. I don't know what you're bitching about. I'm the one who's lagging back here. The way that Daggerfall renders uh, sprites actually looks really funny at this weird angle. I don't know why. It just it amuses me anyway. Doom has the same problem where. Holy shit! Why did that happen? He shouldn't have been able to. That shouldn't be possible. What? Enemies don't jump! How did that happen? Oh, fuck. Get away from me! Stop it! I'm supposed to be cheesing this fight! Damn it! Alright, I don't think his friend knows that I'm here, though. Because zombies are kind of f fucking idiots. Like most of the monsters in this game. There he is. Run away! Run away! Yeah. Ah! Damn it! You know, if I wasn't so impatient, the smart thing to do would have been to stock up on healing potions before I left. Although healing potions are remarkably uncommon in Daggerfall, like, they're surprisingly difficult to find. And, like, it's taking me forever to actually gather the ingredients I need to make them myself. And even if I have them, it takes a while to get to the point in any guild where you can actually brew potions. So... Yeah. Like, for some reason, healing potions in particular, I just have a problem actually getting my hands on them. Holy fuck, he booked it out of that fucking door! You know zombies are supposed to be slow and stupid, right? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I was trying to back up back onto the staircase so that I could kite the guy. Uh, see, now this is why I started the death counter gag, because I knew that this was going to start happening as soon as I started running into any kind of, like, actually tough enemies. Holy shit! Zombies have a strength of 140, a willpower of 90, endurance 100, speed 70, which is fucking amazing. And they have, somehow, an intelligence of 50, agility 80, personality 50, which, what the fuck, and a luck of, of 50. Well I, well, I mean, everyone has a luck of 50. Why am I getting notifications on my phone? Shut up! I don't want- I don't need your notifications. I'm just looking at walkthroughs. Oh, 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hang on, how many hit points do they get? 52 to 66. Alright, yeah, fuck this. Um, the only reason I'm using my Potion of Orc Strength, by the way, is that I know that there aren't really a ton of monsters. Uh, if you take the optimal route, you, you'll, you can really cut down on monster encounters in this particular dungeon. You just don't want to rest around here, because uh, when you rest, enemies will respawn. God damn, the lag is making my potions last for a shorter amount of time. Look at this, it's taking longer for me to move, but the potion is still taking down for the same amount of time. This is bullshit. God damn it. Motherfuck. Get fuck. Get the fuck. Even my fucking pause menu isn't working properly. <laughs> 